So it's like 30.30 and I've been so lazy all day. I didn't have to work today because I had to get some stuff done and it felt so good. I slept till like 11.30 and that felt so good. I think I really needed that. Uh, it, felt, it felt awesome and then I was just kind of lazy all morning. I took a shower. I just really relaxed. So if you notice I'm an Andy's truck, I haven't drove it in forever. It feels so crazy to be driving it. I gotta run through the car wash because I haven't drove it in a little while and it's dirty. I had a pretty emotional weekend for whatever reason. I've been so hormonal. Saturday I had a breakdown when I got home from the baby shower. <laughs> it's kind of funny actually, but I mean, I was just so annoyed at the time, like with myself. I, you know, I was like, if you watched my last vlog from last week, I was locked out of the house and, you know, the door got open or whatever. So when I got inside, I let Blue out of his kennel, let him outside. He came back in. We came back inside. I was going to the bedroom to get his side up, turn the light on. As soon as I turn the light on beside the bed, I look over and Blue hiked his leg and was peeing on the bed, like on the bed spread on the floor. I was like, what? the hell I went crazy I was so mad I couldn't believe he did that I was so exhausted you know from the whole weekend already I wanted to just relax and then I had to clean all that up well then we get back we get into the bed we're eating dinner because I picked up Wendy's if you noticed in my, in my last vlog I was eating french fries we picked up Wendy's I had gotten blue two burgers you know so I was like about to spoil his ass and he did that and then um Hold on, let me get gas so I can turn the air on because there was no gas in the truck. And I'll talk to y'all in a second and finish the story. Okay, that's better. <clears throat> so now I gotta find a car wash. So anyways, after the baby shower, I didn't really get to eat a whole lot of the food at the baby shower. I, I did, but not like the sweetie stuff. And I was so excited about the chocolate chip cookies that we'd baked. They're soft, they're good. So we had a lot of them left over because I made like 50 or something. <laughs> And I took all the rest of them home and I they were wrapped in aluminum foil or something and that was gonna be my snack like after Skyly went to bed I was so excited like I'd already planned it you know well, while we were eating dinner I know I, I had already given blue his burgers I knew he, he wasn't in the in the room with us and he usually is he doesn't usually like float off on his own but I was like that's really bizarre that he's not in here with us like what well then I get up it to go throw the trash away and I let blue outside and then I turned and I realized the, the cookies weren't on the kitchen table like they usually were and I was like where did I did I misplace them and then I look under the table and there was foil everywhere and he had eaten all the cookies and I lost it I lost it I started I called my mom I was bawling like mom blue chocolate chip cookies because mom saw me take them and I was like I can't wait to eat these I'm so because there was only there was a bag of two in a ziploc bag and the foil full of the rest of them and I was like is there only two left and she was like no there's a big thing right there you can take the big thing <sighs> I was so mad I mean so upset bawling I couldn't stop crying like I couldn't I was just like mom I can't take it he keeps I, it, it was it wasn't just the chocolate chip cookies it was that he's been acting up a lot lately because Andy's been gone for a really long time now and um you know blues noticing changes in me being pregnant and getting ready for the baby and being gone a lot lately just with work and you know he's just been acting up so I was like mom I just can't do this anymore I'm so tired I can't just take a break like I can't just come home and relax I come home to disaster and you know I just I just was so upset and like oh I was so mad I cannot get my ass up in Andy's truck <laughs> I just had to like pull myself up and it took so much work I just ran to TJ Maxx so I'm actually I just walked out of TJ Maxx. I got a few things at TJ Maxx. I came here because I needed to get Andy some socks. Um, Cause when I talked to him earlier, he said he needed some socks. So I'm gonna put those in his package. I'm gonna mail his birthday package out Wednesday. I got him some Under Armour socks. I got him short ones and, cause he wanted short, I got him some short ones. These felt really cool. They felt like the ones, my Victoria's Secret ones that he keeps taking from me. They're real thin. They're um, the old, the resistor training, slip resistant ones. And I know when he works out, sometimes he'll take his shoes off when he's doing like deadlifts or squats and stuff. So I think these will be nice. So I got him at those. And then I got him some of these. Um, uh, charged cotton. I don't know. 
these are the ones he sent me a picture of the tall ones so i got those and then i got me a pair of leggings and then i got three frames they're all the same brand but um one two of them are black and one is white <sighs> okay so when i told y'all that i had sent in like eight by ten size pictures from our wedding i did three of them let me put this over here well the frames i had were up to nine by something i don't know and i i don't know why i thought eight by ten would fit I guess I didn't read where it said up to. I guess I was like, well, if it goes a little over, so they don't fit. They would take up the whole frame, the whole picture frame and all, like all of it. So I'm gonna have to get different sizes for those frames. But, so I wanted to pick up frames because I love the eight by tens. They're so nice. They look so good. Now I'm gonna go home. I started washing all the baby clothes last night. I think I said that earlier, but I started washing all of his clothes. I started with the whites and then I have colors and then I have reds because I did not want to mess any of the clothes up. So I started that. So the white, the whites are in the dryer. I put his sheets on the bed last night. Ooh. I have to get them, um, or my mom's supposed to get different Velcro strips for to finish putting the bedding around the, around the edge. Cause you know, I told you my mom made the bedding like the bumper. So I have to get, we have to get different Velcro for that. I posted on my Twitter or on my Instagram. Oh, I posted on Twitter last night. I said, do y'all want me to do a personal? Because I've had a request for a personal Q&A and a pregnancy Q&A. And I don't want to do the two together because I don't know. I just don't. And I asked on Twitter last night what y'all wanted to see first. And everyone said both. Or what did y'all want to see? And everybody said both. And then I asked which one y'all wanted first. And everyone said personal. I think I might do the pregnancy one like after I have the baby or maybe right before I pop. So I posted on my Instagram. You know, go ahead and start asking your personal questions. And a lot of people are asking the same stuff. And it's all like, what happened when you were in Dallas and stuff? And I was like, I didn't know y'all still remember all that. <laughs> Probably going to go home and start hanging up some stuff. Like the pictures. And I got some stuff I want to re- or Like, I still haven't hung the G&S in the kids' room. And I think I know where I'm going to put it. So, I'm probably going to hang that up when I get home too. So, I'll check in with y'all later tonight when I start doing some stuff around the house. Okay. I hung them up. I got one of like me before we got married and him before. I love this picture here. I think it's so cool. Got his ribbon rack showing. And then me walking down the stairs. I had another one of me getting ready, but I liked this one. And then us together. And I wanted to occupy the space on this wall, and I like it a lot. I think it looks good. Now, the baby's room. See, I put the sheets on. This is the bumper my mom made. The These things right here, these little flaps, have circle velcro on it but we're gonna have to get like the long ones so i just have it placed on here and then his sheets and his little mobile that i got or my mom actually picked up at target i haven't got that thing off the wall yet <laughs> and look at this really cute lamp if you saw i gotta hook up my baby monitor but um summer actually made that she spray painted the the frost on it and everything and it's really cool it lights up nice so i'm gonna i'm gonna take those pictures down those are the curtains by the way that I hung up in here. They're like they're they're blackout curtains, but they don't black out the wall. Like they t they dim the light, but they're not blackout because I didn't. They're white or they're like an off white, but I didn't want to get. I don't know. I just don't know the colors of this room yet, so I wanted it to be able to match whatever I did. But I'm gonna take those pictures down, and I don't know what I'm gonna do with them yet. I I don't know. I might keep them. I don't know yet. I don't know. But I'm gonna put the G and the S over on this wall. And I just got all the clothes everywhere. Here's all the lights that I just brought in that I just washed. I gotta reorganize them back into these cubbies. This, I still don't like this here, but right now I don't have anywhere else to put it. So, I think if I had two more and it was like four of them filling up the wall, I would like it better, but right now it's just driving me crazy, so I don't know. I haven't organized this yet either. These don't even have anything in them. I might put diaper. This is probably going to be diapers and stuff. And I want to try to put the curtain rod up again because it's frustrating me. Let me make this. Turn this down. I'm watching Family Feud. <laughs> I watch Family Feud all the time. So I pulled a swing out because I had that chair there because I was trying to put the curtain rod up. And it's frustrating me. This is the pillow I got, by the way. I said I was starting to get some fall ones and I got like burnt orange one. I love this. It looks so good. I just need to get more. I'm having a hard time finding more because I like don't want to spend $20 on a pillow. Like that one was 12. So Tuesday morning always has them for that much, but they didn't have a whole lot of options when I went. So I don't know, but 
This is the curtain rod I'm trying to hang up. Hello! I'm trying to hang up in the curtains. It's just the brown blackout curtain. It looks just like the one in the bedroom. I'm trying to hang it up, but I'm having issues with the power tools. So, yeah. And then I'm trying to figure out a different setup for up here by the TV. I've been thinking about it. I'm probably going to like look on Pinterest and just try to get some ideas. But, let me show you. So, on the sides of the TV, I want something more pretty. Like, I don't know. So I don't know what I want. But I want to re rearrange the Xbox and put it somewhere else maybe. Like, if I can... I don't know. And then, yeah. So, like that picture of my sister sitting up there, right there. That needs a frame. I just put it up there so it didn't get messed up. Um, but I just don't have a frame for that size. It's a 5 by 7 And then... That shadow box up there, it's all messed up because it got dropped at our old, at our duplex that we used to live at. So I need to get a new one. I got that one was like a 50, it's $50 from Hobby Lobby, but I got it when it was, all their shadow boxes were like 50% off and I got it, oh, I got it like a year and a half ago or something like that. So it's got a lot of Andy's patches in it. So I need to get a new one because that one's, I could glue it, but it would probably they'd probably be stuck in there. So I could probably glue it. I need to get some wood glue though, because it's all messed up. I mean, it fell off of a bookshelf, and it. I'm surprised. I guess that's not glass. I guess it's like that kind of whatever else it would be. But I'm just gonna keep messing around and keep getting some stuff put up out of the way. So wish me luck. Even though you're not gonna see this till afterwards, but. <laughs> Oh, I hope I can get these curtains hung up. I want them hung up so bad. My mom, I would have her come do it, but she has Bible study all night tonight, and then she's leaving tomorrow to go out of town for the week. So I'm just tired of it sitting there. It's just annoying me. Bubba. -bu. He sits up there, and he puts his nose through the blinds to, like, see who's coming. You just knocked my pillow off of the couch. That's so rude. And then I want to redo, like, I'm just getting cozy for fall, and I want to change up everything, because it'll be full, it'll stay this way for fall, and, like, well, besides the, like, fall leafy stuff, but, like, it'll stay this way until, you know, it warms up again. But I want to get something different for the table, so I'm just, like, looking at Pinterest ideas, basically, and getting inspired, and then figuring out what I need to just, like, I want to put, I think I want to get, like, a tray to put here, and then put candles in it and stuff. I don't know yet. I don't know. And I want a new rug. I want a bigger rug. But it's just going to take finding one and figuring out the color and everything. Andy wants a sectional, which we will get eventually. These couches are old and just done. I need a new side table over there because that doesn't even match. It just doesn't even go. So I need a new side table. I just need... I need a lot of things. <laughs> But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and go and just start trying to get this curtain. I'm just going to... I'm just going to go and try to hang up this curtain rod. I hope I can do it. Because I get, I get frustrated. Okay, y'all, I did it. Now, let's talk about this experience here. First of all, I did not have luck. I stripped almost every nail that went up there. Or, they're not completely in all the way. Um... I lost the connectors that connect the two. There's four poles connected. I lost the connector that connects the two in the middle. So it's scotch taped in the middle. Right there. Yeah. Um, but otherwise, I'm happy that it's up. It looks a lot cozier in here. Now I just got to work on my TV. Decor this top shelf, etc. Situation we got going on. Bobo, I found his his nylon bone under the couch so he's happy and yeah so I'm gonna go hang up oh. I haven't eaten yet but I'm not that hungry yet but um, I'm gonna go start folding the clothes I need to do my hair I keep forgetting about that before work tomorrow um, and I'm gonna hang up the letters I might not do that tonight though just because I really need to wash my hair. I keep forgetting. I don't even know what time it is, but at least that's up, so I'm happy because I was tired of that swing being out, and it looks a lot more closed in in here, and I like it. It's cozy. But now I need to work on my pillows for the couch. On that couch. Yeah. I was sitting here folding clothes, and I realized I hadn't even vlogged today. 
So Skylie's playing in her room. I've been hanging up stuff at the baby room. I hooked up the baby monitor and it's awesome. And I've got all of Griffin's clothes here washed. This is a lot of baby clothes considering they're like the tiniest of material. So there's a lot of clothes and they're all inside out. So I'm folding them right now and sorting them into their bins. And then those are for socks. Baloo, stop. He's like, I'm tired of talking about this baby. Nope. And I'm watching Army Wives. And it's good. I started season four last night. So yeah, I love my curtains. They make me happy. I just feel so cozy in my little house. I need a light. That candle was lit. Must have burned out or blown out or something. But anyways, so I'm just gonna sit here and fold these clothes and just relax. I have to go to work for a meeting tomorrow in the morning. So I gotta take Scally with me. But um, we're really just doing this tonight. Nothing special. I just went and got her and we came right home and been hanging out at the house ever since. So yeah. I've been really bad at vlogging this week. I don't know. It's I mean it's only Wednesday, but like I like the past two days I've been like off of it. But I just dropped Skylie off. It's like 2:30, and uh, Emily and Mason came over. had a, had a meeting at work this morning, and then I went back to the house. And Emily and her baby Mason came over and brought me a baby gift, and uh, and we got to see the baby. And he's getting so big. I mean, he's not big, but he's just getting bigger from where he was. Sorry, I'm laughing at something Andy said so funny. I'd share it with you, but you can't do that. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was really funny. Uh, so I brought Blue with me because he's been acting up. I put him in the kennel this morning when I went to the um, when I went to the meeting, and he like tore up his freaking kennel bed. Like he has two kennel beds on top of each other. One's like a memory foam kind of thing, and then one's like a, I don't know, on top of it. But he like tore it, and so I was like, so I just put him in the car and took him with me to take Skyly back. But I need to run to the store. I need to get Andy some flip flops um, to send him. I'm gonna send him his package tomorrow because I had to get him another wedding ring, which I'll explain all that in a minute. Cause I don't think I've, I don't think I've talked about it in a video. I need to go to the grocery store just to get a few things because I have nothing at the house, literally. I love this song by Drake. I got the Drake and Future mixtape the other day and it's so damn good. I love it. Love it, love it. I'm ready for Drake's new album, Views from the Six, to come out. Drake just can't, never puts out a bad, bad song to me. <laughs> and he's cracking me up. He's got jokes. He's got jokes. But I'm about to be at my house. So I'm going to drop Boo Boo off and then I'm going to head to the store. Sorry, baby. He's like, uh, no. No, no, no. What's up? So I went to the grocery store and I am making dinner right now. I went to the grocery store a long time ago. But I'm just now getting on here for you guys. <laughs> I gotta finish wrapping Andy's gift and stuff. When I say gift, I'm gonna pack his box, but I'm making dinner. I made some grilled chicken and I've got brown rice. That's almost done cooking right now and I'm just gonna eat that. I'm about to watch some Army Wives and just try to relax on the couch. I've been having like really bad, my mom says they're Braxton Hicks contractions, which is basically, you know, your stomach just preparing for actual contractions. And um, I ha I've had them so bad today, and I don't know if it's like the heat or what, but I've just been super uncomfortable, so I'm just trying to lay down. It smells so good in here. Brown rice in a cup. So, yeah, I am just making dinner. I got my chicken and my brown rice. I already cooked this. So, yeah. That's all that's going on over here. Nothing too wild and crazy. I just want to check in. I feel like I've really sucked at vlogging this week. And I'm sorry if it's a really boring vlog, which it probably will be. Because nothing's going on. And this weekend, I'm not working. I'm not working this weekend. Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. I'm probably just going to do a lot of filming. 
because I, I want to film some videos for y'all. I'm going to do like maybe some beauty videos. I don't really know yet, but I'm just going to do a lot of filming and a lot of relaxing because I've seriously been in so much discomfort lately. I can't stand it. So anyways, I'm going to go eat this dinner and watch some army wives and check in with y'all later. So I'm off work and I am headed home. 2:30. I'm off work now for the weekend, which which is nice, but it kind of sucks because I probably just relax a lot at home, which I, I need to do anyways. I think I've been doing a whole a little too much for my body because I've been having those Braxton Hicks contractions a lot, and my stomach is just I just feel I feel like I need to relax. Like something instinctly inside of me tells me to take it a little easier than I've been doing. So it's kind of nice. It's probably a blessing in disguise like that I am off this weekend, even though I wish I, I just hope it goes by fast because I'm like, oh, like I can't go hang out with my mom. My mom is out of town and just stuff like that. So, but I am going to film my personal Q&A. I think tonight I keep debating because I don't think I want to sit in my normal setup. I think I want to sit like maybe in my bed or something like since it's a personal Q&A, I don't know yet. And it also sucks because I don't have a tripod because I broke mine. I have this stupid pimple on my face right here. Luckily, I haven't had any problems with like pregnancy acne. Like a lot of women break out so bad and I haven't. I just got this one little spot right here and I don't know what that's about. Tomorrow is Andy's birthday and it's kind of making me sad even though we, we have never, it's not like we have a tradition that we do every year on his birthday and it's not like we had plans that got ruined or anything, but I still would like to be able to spend a birthday with him like once, maybe. <laughs> I told him that the other day, I was like, maybe next year we'll get to spend your birthday together, you know, and we can go do something really fun. I ordered a ton of stuff for the baby yesterday because I had an Amazon gift card for $100, so I got a diaper bag. I got like a backpack diaper bag because I don't have a diaper bag yet. I got a diaper genie. I got an outfit. I got a nurse, or I got a, um, I got a nursing bra because I haven't got one yet. And then I got a, a little, one of the little things for my K-cup, for my Keurig. I got one of the little spinny things that holds all your K-cups. So I'm super excited about that. I got a, a couple Target gift cards from, from a baby shower, and I'm going to get my pack and play I'm gonna get the pack and play with the newborn napper and all that stuff in it and it's got like the bassinet and the changing table and all that and I'm gonna order it but I can't find my freaking Target gift cards I've looked a ton of places for them and I can't find them so hopefully they're in a package one of the boxes at home yeah Griffin oh he's so active like he just I feel like he's in there just like you know just punching and doing the soldier boy and I don't know what else but he is killing me <laughs> seriously oh people are annoying me I really want to make some chocolate chip cookies because I've been craving them since blue ate all of them from the party and I got the ones that we made at the party so they're just like place and bake so I might make a couple and get ready to film my q and I don't know. I'm still thinking about it. I'm still trying to figure that out. But anyways, so I'm just really rambling right now. My joints are killing me in my hands. That's another thing that I've been having like lately is like, I don't know if it's the feeling you get before you need to pop your knuckles or after you pop your knuckles. I think it's after you pop your knuckles and they're real sore. Like just for a second, my knuckles and my all like all the joints in my hands right now are feeling like that and it hurts so bad and this little blue ring on my middle finger that I never take off I can't get it off uh, I don't want to like cut it off because I love it but I can't get it off my wedding rings are getting a little tight they were big when we got them but I just never got them sized because I was gonna be pregnant anyways I thought those people were about to jump out in the road I have a lot of questions on my Instagram. I think I have almost 100 questions, which is a lot. Because So I'm probably not going to answer them all, but I'm going to try my best because I want to answer them detailed because a lot of y'all are asking, you know, like I said, the story about when I came home from Dallas and stuff. A lot of y'all are asking about why I came home and why I said I had a hard time and 
all of that. Um, and that was so long ago now, it's crazy. I didn't even say goodbye, you know? They just left. By the time I'm 40, these are gonna go National Geographic on me. I feel bad about myself right now. So, so we the camera's set up where it is because... It's not what the market's like, it's like you're getting what? money. Cause it's... The camera is set up where it is because I had every intention of filming my personal Q&A. But I wanted to wait until it was this dark because earlier it was too bright. So while I was waiting for the sun to go down, I laid on the couch and I fell asleep for several hours. And now it's 7:12, and I'm so tired. My stomach is killing me right now. Like it's doing those Braxton Hicks contraction things and it hurts so bad. But yeah, so I fell asleep for several hours. It's like seven o'clock right now, and this is exactly where I wanted the lighting to be, but I don't even know what it looks like right now. I just literally reached over and turned my camera on. Oh, this is why I don't take naps in general. I'm only na I've only been napping now, mainly because I'm pregnant, and I know you really, like, every time I get an email from my weekly email for my updates on my pregnancy, it's always like, take naps. Your body needs rest, and I have been getting no sleep at night, so I've been, you know, okay, I'll fall asleep for a little bit. Now I'm tired. Like I'm really tired. But I needed to eat dinner, so I'm just I can't believe I fell asleep for forever. Actually I can't. I think I allowed myself. I think I was laying laying there like, you know what, you're comfy, you're sleepy, just go to sleep. Anyways, now I'm just gonna figure it out and see where I go from here. I'm sorry guys. <laughs> Hello guys. So sorry. I have been so lazy all day today. I said I was going to film today, and I said I was going to do a lot of things, and I haven't done a single thing. I slept in pretty late. Boo-boo. Ow. Today's Andy's birthday. Blue, what do you keep doing? Oh, it's his bone. I was like, what is he doing? Um, I slept in late, not really, kind of late, but I was up late watching Army Wives and talking to Andy a little bit. I came in here in the living room and I started watching Army Wives and then I took a bath and that felt good. I like scrubbed my skin like with a really good exfoliator and took a nice bubble bath. And then I started ordering some baby stuff. I ordered, um, cause I got, you know, I got a bunch of gift cards for the baby shower and so I got I ordered a boppy lounge which is like a boppy pillow that you that helps you breastfeed but it's like one that holds your baby just to like sit your baby in I got that I got a boppy cover for my breastfeeding pillow oh, I got the pack and play I got I think that was it I think that's all I got yeah um I ordered a lot of stuff off Amazon you know the other day the other night and some of it's supposed to come tomorrow i didn't go to the post office and take him 80s packages i'm going to take them in the morning his wedding ring came in late and i you know i keep telling y'all i'm going to tell you all that story it's not really much of a story but basically andy lost his wedding ring right which was just like a a quick quick qu 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 ring the little silicone ones they're like 20 bucks thank god he lost it like right when he got to i like where when he was deploying somewhere somewhere along the way he lost it then I ordered him a new one, sent it to him, and I sent it to where he was before he left there. And he just got it like a few weeks ago, and it was too small. But, well, okay. <laughs> Hold on. I sent him one, and he told me that the package, and then they, found, they told him that his package got lost. So I ordered him another one. Then he got the package that they thought was lost, and the ring was too small. So I had to order him another one, which this was my third time to order one, and it's the one that I have now. So I have two of them with me now, and he has the one that's too small. He's been wearing it, even though it's too small, but I got him a size larger, and so that's in the box. So I was waiting on that to come in, and it came in today. So I'm gonna send the I'm gonna take the packages to the post office in the morning. Anyways, I've just been literally sitting on the couch watching army wives all day i talked to andy a little bit facetimed him a little bit before he went to bed um yeah just i've needed to be lazy but i wanted to film beauty videos i think i'm gonna do that tomorrow hopefully hopefully i get up and i feel energized i just have been really tired lately but I, andy wanted me to start looking at um resorts and stuff so that we can go there for like our anniversary for our one year anniversary since we never took a honeymoon so I've been looking at all-inclusive resorts online and stuff and just getting ideas. I'm about to probably start editing my Q&A that I filmed last night. 
I put like some old SIM cards in my computer in here. Look, I put an old SIM card in here, and it's videos. These are from last November, like when Blue was a puppy. They were vlogs that I'd filmed, but I never put up. This is from like snow days. Like they're so funny. And then when we went to Mount Ida, this was like the weekend before we found out I was pregnant. And then this was like right. This was like the week we got married. These two. This I was showing y'all my Tahoe that I had just got, and I, I mean, I, but I never did anything with these videos. It's so funny. I'm probably about to do that. I was gonna make dinner, but I'm not hungry yet. It's still kind of early. I was like trying to eat on time. It's six o'clock. I'll probably eat in like an hour, but I'm on season five, episode twelve of Army Wife. So I'm probably about to start season six. I don't know how many episodes are in a season. It was really sad. I think this morning. I think it was this morning. I watched. A really sad episode. I was so upset. And then Summer started watching um, Army Wives last night. And she was like, I can't wait to go home and keep watching some more. Because she's at work today. I thought it was hilarious. I was like, that's exactly how I was. And I was like, and I was off today. And all I've been doing is watching Army Wives. <laughs> I'm just ready to start kind of nesting, I guess. I have 44 days till my due date. My mom's at Disney World this week. I wasn't invited. <laughs> I know this week is probably super boring because I, I really didn't do anything and I've just been, I say that like every week I feel like, I know this week is probably boring, but this week is probably seriously boring because I didn't do anything. I feel like I've been really lazy this week. Can I help you? Do you need, do you need me for something? What's going on over here? You think you're a monkey? Huh? Are you being a monkey, Bobo? I'm gonna go and start ending this Q&A, watch some Army Wives, make some dinner maybe. I'll check in with y'all later, but yay, it's Friday. Feels like a Saturday to me though, cause I never, I usually always work on Fridays. Okay, I'm gonna talk to y'all now. I hid away from the camera for, for a minute. Bobo. There he is. Get up here. So, I've had a really rough morning, early afternoon. I was up so late last night watching Army Wives. I tried to wait up. Andy's off on Saturdays, and he said he was going to wake up early and talk to me. So, I stayed up really late, like 2.30 or something. And he didn't wake up, and I was like, oh, man. But I ended up falling asleep. And um, I, I'm, 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 like, almost done with Army Wives. I only have, like, one and a half seasons. Ugh. And, like, it's getting to the point where there, a lot of people are going off the show. Like, I haven't felt good today. Like, and, la and I didn't feel like, I didn't feel good last night either. Like, I kept, you know, I said that I would make dinner, like, an hour. Well, I just was nauseous and nothing sounded good. And I made myself eat. I made some, like, chicken teriyaki and rice. And it was good. But, like, I don't know. I just kind of made myself eat. And then, like, this morning I felt nauseous all day. Like, and just tired. And... I, I was supposed to film beauty videos today, why not? I? I could do that tomorrow. <laughs> I couldn't get out of bed, I just felt nauseous. My, you know, I, I couldn't get comfortable. Like my fingertips keep going numb, like where they start tingling, it's so weird. I, I needed to take Annie's packages to the post office and I kept putting, I, I don't live that far from the post office and I kept putting it off, you know, and I was like, okay, if I don't send them today, I'm gonna have to send them on Tuesday. Cause Monday I work the whole time they're open. Like, from when the post office opens to when the post office closes, I'll be at work. So, I was like, I've got to take them today. You know, at least, I know they wouldn't send anywhere today, but at least I would know they were there. And they were, like, you know, through the first step, you know. So, I'm in the post office, right? I carry these three large priority boxes that are, like, you know, I'm holding them and they're covering my face. Like, the lady will help me get in the door and all that stuff. And... I'm sitting there, and I only had two custom forms at the house, and I had three boxes, so I had to fill one more out, and I'm in the middle of filming, fill, filling that form out. There's two people in line, you know, like, they're already helping people, and I'm standing right there just filling out this last form, and after they check the last person out, she hits the button and starts closing that thing, and I turn over and look at her, and, like, she's just staring at me and watching it shut. I... I'm in there all the time. She knows how pregnant I am. Like, both those girls know how pregnant I am. I'm standing there with all my boxes. I was, like, almost done filling that form out. Literally, I was, like, writing in, like, what was in there. And that was it. And I was, like... 
I literally just was in shock and talking about it makes me upset again. <laughs> I just started bawling because I am pregnant and hormonal, but I was just like stressed, like seriously, like how fucking rude. Like at least say something to me like, hey, sorry, we're going to have to close. Like they didn't say a damn thing like that. It was just like beep because that thing started coming out and I was like, seriously, I'm right here. Like I know it won't take you but two seconds to do that. Like I've, I've been here all the time. Oh, that just made me, I just thought that was so rude. I understand it's a Saturday and it's noon, but like I just carried in all the, like at these three boxes and now I have, and I mean, so I carried my boxes. I'm like bawling. I go out to my car and I just lost it. I was bawling the whole way home. Uh, just was so upset. Because I didn't feel good, you know, like the whole way there anyway. So I just wanted that stuff done. I was so upset. So I've been like distracting myself um, by editing my q and I'm about halfway through it right now. I want to try to get that up for y'all tonight. But I'm hungry. But every time I get up to make something, I get nauseous. The Razorbacks are playing Texas A&M tonight at 6 o'clock. And the Razorbacks have been sucking. But... I kind of wish I like had people hang out with and watch the game, but I feel like I have no friends. I mean, I do have friends, but I feel like either I have my friends that don't live here, Alexa. I have my friends that have husbands or boyfriends, and so they like don't hang out with me because I don't have a husband or a boyfriend. <laughs> That's home. <laughs> and then I have my friends that have deployed other halves as well. And they just kind of do what I do and stay to themselves at the house. Griffin is just like making me so uncomfortable. He keeps like getting in my ribs and in my lungs and it's just, ugh, I'm just complaining a lot today. But he really is just taking over. It hurts. Like look. You see this right here? Like all right here? It's so hard. Like look, I can push in over here. I can't go anywhere here because it's all him. I'm just so ready for him to be here so that I can have my body back because it's killing me. But that I'm not ready, but I am. I can't wait to meet him. I'm feeling so emotional today. I like I, I wanted to call my mom so bad when I was bawling, but she's in Disney World. And I didn't and she's like hasn't been answering her phone and I wish she was home. I'd make her come over here and scratch my back. <laughs> What are you doing, Bobo? Bobo, come here. Are you tired? Did you been playing outside? Next week's October, and that's got me super pumped. Like October, November, December, January. It's crazy because, like, when I think of you know being in October. I, and like so when people say when are you due and I said November 9th that's gonna be so close what? Ah! okay I'm gonna go find something to eat because I need to I'm feeling okay my nausea comes in waves and I'm feeling okay right now so I'm gonna find something to eat real quick and then finish editing my Q&A and try to get that up for y'all like now hello I'm watching army wives I've been watching army wives for like hours the rest of our game's on at 6, and um, I, I'm going to go to Emily and Derek's house. Summer's coming over there, so I'm probably about to leave. I just threw on a comfy shirt, and I put some makeup on. So I was looking rough, y'all. But I'm going to go over there and just hang out with them, because I haven't got out of the house, you know, and I've been, like, in a hole all day. And I was literally laying on the couch thinking, what am I going to do to make this day, this day go by faster, because... I'm just ready for the weekend to be over. I'm just, I'm in one of the, having one of those moments, so I gotta get out of the house. So I'm gonna go to Emily and Derek's. I'm gonna take Griffin with me. I'm gonna take my baby. But yeah, I just got, I need to get out of the house. I'm in a rut. So I'm about to leave right now. I'm just gonna, I was finishing this episode. I think it's almost over. Oh, not exactly. Then I'm gonna head that way. Going over.